someone who was living in what we call today the Czech Republic in Prague, um, they called it Bohemia back then, was John Hus. We say John Hus, H-U-S-S. -S. They called him J-A-N-H-U-S is the way they would write it. He, through reading the writings of Wycliffe, he agreed he was a Catholic priest, but he began to read the Bible. He could uh, read non-Latin, but he got a copies of the Bible, excerpts of it were translated, and um, he began to share the scriptures with his people. I've been to Prague where his church was, they called it the Bethlehem Chapel. There it still stands there today. He began to preach against the abuses of the church. Like Elijah, he would uh, call them out for their idolatry and the things that they were doing wrong. And uh, he was brought to uh, answer for his charges in Rome. They found him guilty, even though he had been promised that they were just going to investigate him and bring him safely home. The king withdrew his safe conduct. Huss was brought to the stake and using the writings of Wycliffe as kindling, they set the, uh, the wood on fire. He sang some hymns and then he made a prophecy. Listen to what John Huss said from the stake where he was being burned. He said, in a hundred years God will raise up a man whose call for reform cannot be suppressed. That happened in 1415. One hundred years later in 1517, five hundred years before today, Martin Luther nailed his thesis to the door.